Hello and welcome to Getting Started with Squarespace by Squarespace Toot. Uh, this will basically show you everything that you need to do to get started building your own website with Squarespace. Uh, the nice thing is they do give you a two week free trial so you can always try it out if you don't like it. No harm, no foul. They don't require a credit card or anything. Uh, so what you want to do is go to www.squarespace.com click on the Get Started button and the first thing you'll do is choose a template. Um, you can sort it by the type of website that you want to create or you can scroll down um, see kind of what they have going on. They've got a lot of nice well designed options um, anything from a straight full screen to something that's going to be a parallax website to uh, portfolio templates and store templates um, I kind of like Alex. It's a parallax uh, single page scroll site but it also has multiple page capability so that you can create kind of a vertical and a horizontal story so one of the things that you can do if I go back is this is a brand new template but one of the things that you can do is you can take uh, one of their older templates and this will show you different customer example sites that uh, that people have made with it so you can really get a good idea of what's possible just using the basic templates but I'm gonna show you Alex and you can preview a live website of it and kind of see how it's gonna work so it's got the parallax action where the layers scroll at different depths and it'll scroll down automatically and there's non uh, linked pages and then you can also view how it's going to look on the mobile. That's the other nice thing about Squarespace. It automatically builds the mobile while you build your desktop. So it's going to look uh, pretty alright while um, on the tablet and the mobile while you build the desktop. So let's go ahead and start with Alex. Again, the nice thing is you don't need a credit card. So you can basically fill out whatever email address you want. Create a password. sign up and create and you've got yourself a site so once it propagates it uh, it will offer to take you on a tour of it or you can just get um, right started so we'll go ahead and take you through the tour it's going to ask you what kind of site you're doing we're just going to do a personal one um, it's going to ask you for your site title And then notice how I'll put your site title right up there. Um, if you decide that you do want to change that at any point, you can go into the design in your dashboard, logo and title, kind of put up whatever you want. Um, but we'll get to that in another tutorial. So I'll just run you through the dashboard and kind of how that works really quick. Uh, down here is your account information. If you do decide that you like the site, um, you or you want to create a different site you can have multiple sites with the same account you can add personal information you can log out right there uh, pages is where you're going to be spending the bulk of your time they set you up with all of the demo pages that the template comes with so you can kind of get an idea of what some of the content is um, and this is where you're going to edit your content if you click on one of these pages come over here you'll see that you can edit the page content or just page settings um, and everything like that. So you've got index pages, you've got regular pages. Index pages means that that's the page that runs all of this parallax stuff. So this, our story, has best friends he proposed, she said yes, all within the same parallax um, setup. 
So you notice it's flipping through multiple pages of content right there. Sometimes the uh, the thing itself is a little bit slow and the content doesn't always catch up. Um, but this one's got a couple of index pages and then some regular pages. You can add pages. You can add pages to an index page. You can add secondary navigation and you can add pages that aren't linked at all. And then there's always a readme section that explains kind of what some of the features of the template are and uh, things like that. So I'd highly recommend that you visit the readme section um, whenever you're going to do a template. But basically pages let you control everything on the page. Design tells it what the whole template style is going to look like and then you can put in custom CSS if you know code as well. So you can change templates. Um, you can un un always install a new template and your content will carry over to that new template so you don't have to worry about losing anything. You can change your site title, tagline, you can add a logo that'll go up here if you want. Um, you can add a browser favicon. The favicon is the little picture that comes up next to your site title on the tab of whatever browser you're in. Style editor kind of is the whole design engine of your site. You can change your background color if you want um, for the header. Notice how this is titled site header. Um, you can do fixed position so that header will always scroll behind your content. If you take that off, the other header will scroll away. You can have it transparent so that whatever content is behind there, um, it will be behind there. You can have, I want to see if I can get this content back. For some reason there was a little glitch and the content uh, is not coming back to us. There we go. This will show you a little bit better. So you can have it transparent, so it's going to be behind the, uh, the folder, or, you know, transparent on top of the image. Uh, you can change your fonts. Squarespace does come with quite a few um, high quality fonts packaged into it. Or you can add fonts from Typekit or Google Fonts. Um, if you want to do that, you can change font size, styles, kind of do whatever you want with just a bit of a slide. Or you can come in here and be a bit more specific. Text decoration, you can underline it, overline, line through, um, change your letter spacing, a little bit of everything. You can change your navigation, fonts and colors. You can have it be parallax where it scrolls in different depth layers or you can have it be regular without the parallax. Um, the parallax nav is the throw the little black dots that were here before. Um, you can hide those, you can decide what your image uh, sizes are going to be. And then you can go into your main content, choose the background for the entire site, your fonts, um, your footer, you can choose all of those options. So you can kind of play around in there and really get the site to match um, whatever brand it is that you're trying to match. And after you make your changes, you just hit save. And then one thing to notice, all of these changes do get made in real time. So um, the site is live on the web. If we come into a different browser, oh, well, it should be live on the web. Oh, I know why, because I haven't actually created a page yet. So we have to create a, pay, a couple of pages to get it to be live. So this is just creating pages with their content. We'll just do a couple of them for now. There we go, now it's kicking over. So the nice thing, I always like to have it open in two browsers while I'm working. Um, 
That way I can see that the changes are actually being made on the site. There's that parallax nav that I was telling you about so you can navigate down to different things. Uh, you can also go through and my internet seems kind of slow right now which is why it's not loading all of the content it should be but you can live preview with this little arrow as well. Um, but one thing to note even when you live preview sometimes it's not going to look exactly like it looks on the web hence the lack of content. That's because of Squarespace everything is run through their server so if they're having a lot of traffic right now it might take things just a bit to catch up or they might not look exactly right. So it's always good to look at what it actually looks like on the web while you're building. So we did design. Um, other things in the dashboard commerce, if you want to start a store, um, you can do one product to try it out in the free trial account. Or if you go with a professional, you get up to 20. Or uh, with the business, you get unlimited products. You can actually have a pretty nice store. Metrics uh, gives you traffic overview, so who's been on your site, um, how many page views, visits, audience size, mobile usage, you can see who's on their phones, if you have a blog, you get subscribers, um, where people are coming from, whether it's Google search or another website, um, we'll go right there. Another thing, popular content, that would uh, go with your blogs, and who's typing in what to search engines. So it's a nice handy thing to have. Comes free with Squarespace, but you can also link in Google Analytics. You can manage comments if you're going to have a blog where people would have to get approval from you, or it's open forum and moderated, or comments that people have flagged as being you know not good or whatever. Uh, settings. Here's where you put in basic information for your site. Um, some of your templates will show this basic information. Let's see if I can get this content back. There we go. Yeah, I've just been hitting refresh and that content comes back. It's just been kind of slow tonight. Um, so you can choose your site type, site description. That's good for both Google purposes and um, Sometimes it'll show on your site, like we can have it show up, you know, right here or wherever. Um, allow Squarespace promotion, that means if you build a good enough site, it might be one of those chosen as a template example. Um, always a good thing. And then your business information, if you want to put that in as well, um, so that people can get a hold of you unless you want to build a contact page. Language and reason um, is pretty much set for you based off wherever you're IP address is domains if you have another domain um, a personal domain you do get a custom domain with Squarespace um, get a free domain so you can choose one or if you have an existing domain you can link them together um, and it'll skip over the website you have and go straight to the Squarespace site you can set up email with uh, Google Apps you can link in your Facebook, uh, Twitter, there's pretty much any sort of social media account you want you can link in there. And then there's blogging, um, you can choose tags, format your tags, um, get your likings, comments. I'll cover all of these in further tutorials. Um, search engine here's where you're going to do your meta description for what will show up um, underneath your site name in Google for the the search thing so I would enter that description but you don't really want to mess with any of these that's just all kind of set automatically security you can have a site-wide password so that people would have to um, do the password in order to see your site you can also password different pages and then there are some advanced options which I'll cover in a, another tutorial as needed as well but that's basically how you set up a Squarespace account um, and get started building your site and then a little bit about the uh, dashboard come back for the next tutorial on the advanced options and editing and inserting content